Um, I started as a journalist, um, originally in the music industry, and then I became a copywriter. Um, and in 2002, I started working for a, an agency in London called Liberty. And Liberty had the idea of trying to create a marketing agency where every brief they got um, would deliver commercial impact and social impact. We'd been running Live Magazine in, in SA for three years and placing young graduates from the program into companies. Um, and we were about 50% successful in our placement rate with Live Magazine after young people spending three months with us uh, learning to produce the magazine. But then when we were talking to agencies and media companies, they were saying to us, it's great that you've got young journalists and content creators, but do you have anyone who understands digital marketing? Do you have anyone who can run a social media campaign? So Digify Africa is now a social enterprise working across the continent, delivering programs that try and prepare young people to take advantage of the digital economy, either by going through a program like Digify Pro, which hopefully gets you a job at the end, or at an educational level, um, because we're also running programs where we go into schools and train teenagers at high school on how to stay safe on the internet. So we're thinking about early users of the internet. Digital marketing is actually, in my view, a very, very broad field. It may sound like it's, it's quite a niche, but in the program we're running here in Nairobi, Digify Pro, we cover over 10 weeks, over eight weeks, sorry, um, a sort of A to Z of digital marketing, which goes through content creation, social media management, it goes into analytics, search engine optimization, a little bit of user experience and user interface. Um, and so we try and cover all these different pillars of digital marketing, of which I would say advertising is one part. So I see digital advertising as a part of digital marketing. So we'd like to explore more cities in Kenya next year, uh, if possible. Um, and what we're trying to think about is how could jobs be created in those places where maybe there isn't the level of kind of big companies as there is in Nairobi. So that forces us to explore the gig economy, thinking about how we could train young people to be their own mini agencies, servicing lots of other small businesses. But yeah, I think um, the obvious starting places are the big cities, but definitely the ambition is to is to cascade the impact across the different countries we're working in. So we look really at, um, for Digify Pro in particular, we look at uh, the mindset, the attitude, and the sense of determination as, as, as our key factors. The education level is not so important to us. It's more important that someone can prove, A, they need the opportunity, but also that they're going to capitalize on it. Um, it's f currently free. So we're hoping that we give the opportunity to people who appreciate it um, and will pay it forward in some way by training others or, or making sure they share their knowledge and skills. So yeah, we're, we're really looking for the right mindset and people who are passionate about the digital economy. Um, and I have to say we don't struggle to find people who want to come onto these programs. I mean, with very little marketing here in Nairobi, we had 300 applicants and we had to boil that down to... 20. Um, and that's what's exciting about the work because we realize the talent pool is huge and, and it extends uh, way beyond people who've gone to university and there's lots and lots of young people who are out there creating their own hustle, making sure they're learning and upskilling themselves, you know, with online, free online learning and learning from friends and, and that's what's exciting because we're trying to build this network of expertise from the ground up. In Kenya, we're just starting to, because we're very new here, we've only been um, operating Digify Pro for just over two months. So we're very new and, and we're exploring what are the right partners for us to work with. We're already in the process of placing the current cohort of Digify Pro. I think uh, a, a few of them have already been placed, have been snapped up, um, and, and the rest of them will be going for interviews next week. So hopefully within a week or two, everyone will have a placement or a job. So I think in Kenya you can expect more um, cohorts of Digify Pro next, next year, hopefully ac across more than just one city, um, and the impact then being scaled you know, to, into different areas of the country. Um, we'd like to bring some of our other programs to the country as well, um, and hopefully next year we can train some of the Digify Pro graduates as trainers, 
and start getting them out into communities and, and spreading the impact. Um, but really, you know, ultimately, our aim is to try and use this kind of work to make a dent on youth unemployment. So one of the most memorable moments for me was when we trained 3,000 young people in one go in Nairobi in 2016. Um, and actually I found out today that one of those young people um, was inspired to go on and start their own uh, mini agency as a, as a result of that. Um, so that's the kind of impact story that, you know, sticks in the mind. Um, we're striving for, you know, to reach as many people as we can. But also when you hear that someone has actually, you know, created a livelihood as a result of our intervention, then that's what makes it all make sense.